I met somebody not too long ago when I was out garage sailing who said he's a junker. And I asked him if he ever comes across video game stuff. And I gave him my number just in case he did. He actually just hit me up and said he's got a whole bunch of stuff and to come take a look at it. So, yeah, we're headed on over there. Let's go take a look at it. So you're a junker, huh? Yeah. You find all kinds of video game stuff, or? I clean out houses that were on fire. Oh, no joke. Yeah, so, like, anything, basically. Okay. You know, I do electronics, too, for the company. So. Oh, okay. Brand new box. PlayStation boxes. Yeah, and... the stuff you can, like, pack one in. Okay. Yeah, I would definitely appreciate that. Yeah. You don't mind if I check some of it out, do you? Oh, and I know I have some insides to these downstairs. Okay. I mean, in the case... I'd be willing to take a look at what else you got. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't... I'd have to go at, at, to my warehouse and grab the rest of that. What's, what's the big phenomenon with them? Are those coming back? With what? The 64. Um, I, I don't know about coming back, but they never really left. They're pretty cool to me. <laughs> Yeah, I know I got rid of my original Nintendo last year. Oh, you did? Yeah. What'd you sell that for? Um, I think it was like 25 bucks. Oh, no joke. Yeah, it was oh. the one you had to tip upside down. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you either you had the one where you had to blow in the disc or, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's got some pretty good games with it. I'm interested in most of this stuff. Um, What would you just want for like everything? Um, I, I see, I found a connect after. So there's a connect. If I just took all of it, what would you want? Mm. I'm not sure. I know. I've never seen this before. I have no idea what that is. These are some more cables for all of it. Yep, yep, yep. That's for anything, whatever's here. Okay. Yeah, I dug out as much as I could. There's even a fat head in Black Ops 3. Really? <laughs> I'll probably keep that though. That's all you, man. You can have it. Yeah, because that's all I play. The PS4 controller. Yeah. So you, you clean out houses that were on fire, man. That's. It, sometimes it's only a candle fire or a puff out from the furnace or whatever. Okay. Oh, yeah. You ever went into, like, totally demolished buildings or? No. You don't do that no, kind of we'll, stuff? We'll never get, because there's nothing to save. So we wouldn't even get called. Like, if, I, if, if you see it on TV... It's usually Too a bad. huge fire, and I'll never see, I'll never end up there, so. Okay. Yeah. We should probably make sure all these are in here, huh? I mean, I don't even know. Yeah, but this one's in here. I don't think Wally's in there, that's just a case. But, yeah. I mean, you got other stuff in here, too, like, just laying around. Well, if the price is right, I'll just take it all as it is. Well, what do you think? I know this one works, this one works. I know all the controllers work. Did awesome. you test any of these handhelds? I usually, I, I only play like uh, Call of Duty, so usually only the stick button, the button. That works, I know that works for sure. That, uh, the cord's right over here somewhere. Right? Okay. Yeah, right here, I believe. Yeah, look at it, it hasn't even been that way. I could probably got more of These are two, that, right? Maybe one of these is too good. Here's an extra one. Oh, this is for the PlayStation. This is yeah, for this a PlayStation is, 2. This, for, this is for the 64. Okay. This HDMI one. cable. Yeah. This one's got seven output per HDMI. What else do you need? Just the big one? You need this one because this one runs that charging station right there. Oh, yep, yep. I think. Um, that would be that. I don't know what the hell is. Oh, this is a Turtle Beach. Headset piece? Yeah, I'll probably keep that. That's cool. Yeah. Um, you said you got more stuff downstairs? No, not downstairs, at the warehouse. At the warehouse? The boxes, yeah. I'll go through it all and see you again, probably. Okay. okay. Yeah, there's a camera here, too, for a PS3. That's, I don't... I actually just PS3. sold one of these. Oh, really? Yeah, five bucks on eBay. <laughs> yeah. Um... I don't know. Is like 150 too much? And what do you think? And then I 
150 would be a little bit much for me. Okay. Um, I would definitely take all the Nintendo stuff and yeah. some of your PlayStation stuff. Okay. I'd shoot you 100 bucks for the whole lot. All right. Let's do it. You'll do it? Yeah. All right. It'll help you out. I mean, it gives you stuff to do. And you get all those other boxes over there. Oh, yeah, the boxes too. No joke. Those are awesome. Yep. I, and if I run into any more, you know, instead of just chucking them, I'll, I'll grab it. Yeah, definitely don't, don't chuck them. <laughs> no. I know. I, sometimes I chuck stuff down at the, uh, at the, uh, down by Harriet Island, and people will start grabbing the stuff that I throw, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can imagine. Man, the clothes, they just, all the, oh, man. Do you need a bin for this, or? I would love a bin if you could. Yeah, me and the kids, we got everything that we want, so, I mean, we pay big money for the new shit. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm the same way like, with the new stuff. There's no... This combination right here, this and this. That's the Destiny Edition. Yeah. Yeah, that thing's super sweet. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah that thing's super sweet. Put the gold in there. I'll get you situated on some cash and then. Cool. Yeah, I pretty much I get rid of anything. 100 bucks. That was pretty cool. I gave him 100 bucks for everything. Uh, I'm gonna clean it all up, go over it a little bit more thoroughly when I get back to the house. And right. yeah, back at the house. It's the next morning, just really quick, wanna go over yesterday's haul. So I paid a hundred bucks for everything. Um, nothing here is getting capped, honestly. I already own everything I need. There's some pretty good games though. We got Smash Brothers, Diddy Kong Racing, Gauntlet, Pokemon Stadium, Mario Kart 64, all good games. Gauntlet, that's pretty cool. Never played it, but I do already own it. So I haven't tested any of the units yet. I know the 64 doesn't have the expansion, unfortunately. And I can already tell that the reset button is jammed down. So I'm going to have to take that apart and fix that. It's real easy. It only takes a couple of minutes. The GameCube has AV cables, but no power cable or controller. It does have two memory cards, though. We got a leap pad and an iQuest. I don't know anything about those. We got a Nintendo 3DS. I plugged that in and charged it up last night. That works. Wherever JD is, I got your 3DS, dude. Came with the charger too, so that was pretty cool. PSP, haven't tested it, it's missing a back. I'll have to order one of those on eBay. Looks pretty clean. I don't see why it wouldn't work. No rattle or anything. The coolest piece out of the whole lot has got to be this Super Mario World watch. It wasn't working when I got it. But I brought it to my buddy Matt's house. We opened it up and we put a new 389 in there. And it works flawless. It's pretty cool. I don't know how to use it. I didn't really play with it. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. 
I'm probably going to keep that. You might see me rocking that in a future video with my fanny pack. I think they'd go well together. Fanny pack and the, the old watch. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, we got the Xbox with two controllers. No power supply or AV cables, unfortunately. Just the box. The 360 and connect. Power supply and stuff's back there for it. Some decent PS4 games. A couple of Call of Duties and The Last of Us. Can never go wrong with The Last of Us. Case is super, super beat up. Some common Xbox 360 games. Some common PS2 games. I actually didn't have Ignition or Trigger Man. So those are both going into the collection. And yeah. That's pretty much the haul. All of this stuff down here is junk. We got broken PS4 controller. It rattles. It's missing a button on top. Bunch of empty cases. Broken DS. Some empty carrying cases. This thing's missing a back and it rattles really bad. All right. On to the next. So the guy that I bought all the Sega stuff from hit me up and said he's got some Game Boy Advance stuff. He sent me some photos, some boxed games, and the cream of the crop, Yoshi's Island. It's actually factory sealed, he said. So he wanted 50 bucks for the whole lot. We're gonna go out there and pick it up. Let's do this. Hello again. How's it going? Not too bad. You don't mind if I check this stuff no. out, do you? All right. That's fine. 50 bucks. Thank you. I think you got a good deal. Yeah, you said the one was still brand new. Shrink wrapped. Looks like it's brand new. It's donkey. It's got everything. Yeah, it does. Still sealed for sure. And it's 16 years, 17 years old this year. So, so what's the story? You just never played them or? At that one, I, yeah. I had it had it at, at the house, and I I don't know what happened to it, but when we moved, there it was. <laughs> well, I'm glad you took really good yeah. care of it. And I also appreciate you wrapping them up for transportation. Well, I, I didn't I didn't want to take the chance. I mean, I could have I could have you know uh, fell down or something. You know, so. this is a pretty cool case. I don't know what that top one is. Maybe for headphones or something? Yeah, that's but, unique. That would make sense. I mean, maybe something like that. Yep, yep. Awesome. Well, everything looks great. I really appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Not a bad deal at all. 50 bucks for the whole bag. A couple of boxed games, but the Yoshi's Island is still factory sealed. A little bit crushed on the bottom there. Not bad at all. But holy moly. That's definitely going in the collection. What a great deal. And yeah, I'll go over that stuff more thoroughly when I get back to the house. So the guy that I bought all of the GameCube stuff from actually messaged me again. And he said he found his old Sega Nomad. So I asked him how much he wanted. He said 10 bucks and it's yours. I'm coming out here to pick it up. Let's go get it. I guess my GoPro died, so I wasn't able to get the transaction on camera. But I, I backtracked through the messages just to show you guys that I really did pay $10 for it. Um, let's see. Yeah, do you want it then? It's going to take me a while to get this done. Say $10 for it just because I like doing business with you. But yeah, there it is. $10 Sega Nomad it's untested I don't know if it works but $10 just as it is that's a steal of a deal and yeah on to the next all right guys I messaged this lady about her garage sale ad and she said she's got some Game Boys so I had her put them off to the side we're headed out there to go pick them up She got some Xbox games. Yeah. Is this it? And some movies. 
There's a crash bash. Is that the stuff that nice. Were about? Yeah. Hello. Hey. I messaged you about the Game Boys. Yeah. Sweet. How much do you got on your PlayStation game? Um, those are. That's all free. So. Free? Yeah. Both are. Okay. Um, so yeah. So the advanced. That's like a battery pack. Do you mind if I check it all out? Sure. Yeah, Sweet. No See, there's some games in there. Mario Bros. Deluxe. Oh, okay. There was a Pokemon game too? Yes. There's blue, which I checked out. Still has the save game data, but the gold one doesn't, so it'll probably need that battery, battery replaced. Right on. Um, so yeah, we're doing 50% off today because we're trying to get rid of stuff. So You don't happen to have any other old video game stuff, do you? I, I actually collect them, so I'm always out looking sure. for it. Sure. You saw the stack over there? Yeah, yeah. I'm um, looking for like older stuff, PlayStation, Nintendo, Sega. I've got, I guess I'm not sure I'm ready to get rid of it. I've got an Xbox original. Okay. Um, Any other like cartridge stuff or? No, I, I wasn't, Game Boy was the earliest I got into. I never really got into the Nintendo 64 or anything like that. Right on. So it was 20 bucks for mm -hmm. them? Yeah. There you are. I might Thanks. grab a few of those other ones. Sure, yeah, that whole pile's free. And, yeah, free awesome. Look around at other stuff too. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, you bet. If they're free, if they're free, I'm just gonna grab them all if they're free. He said that whole pile there was free, so free? Yeah, so I just grabbed them all. And then 20 bucks for the two Game Boys. Not a bad deal at all. And there's a bunch of games in there too. Some Pokemon games, a Mario game. There's a couple games in this one. What do we got? We got all the Big Bang theories. I'll probably grab those if they're free. Back at the house, just want to go over my pickups for the last few days. All of this stuff came from one garage sale. Uh, the games were in a box at the end of his driveway. I asked him how much they were and he said everything in that box was free. So I just grabbed all the media. It was all the Big Bang Theories and then these Xbox games and a copy of Crash Bash, which is in surprisingly really good shape. A couple of light scratches, but nothing too major that was free i can't believe it some pretty good xbox games oblivion i spent a ton of time playing oblivion borderlands is a great game fallout new vegas has the sleeve and it's in great shape i already have it but i don't have the sleeve so i'll be keeping the sleeve black ops I actually got all of the trophies even for all the dlc i did all the easter eggs on ps3 some good stuff. Random filler. And then what I did buy at his sale was the two Game Boys. He said it was the last day of the sale, so everything was half off. He had 30 on the Game Boy Color in games, and he had 10 on the Game Boy Advance in games. So I gave him 20 bucks, and I got all of this stuff here, which is the Game Boy Advance with this... I don't know what this is. It's like a charging dock or something. You got a Game Boy Advance, which has the battery cover and it's not busted, so that's cool. SpongeBob with the manual. Kirby with the manual. Uh, the manual for Pokemon Sapphire. A couple other Game Boy Advance manuals. You got the Game Boy Color with a light, a worm light. I actually had one of these as a kid and I bent it so much that it broke off eventually and then I didn't have a light anymore and I remember how bad that sucked. We got uh, Pokemon Blue, Mario with the manual, 
Pokemon Gold with the manual, a Pokemon Silver manual, a couple of carrying cases. So for 20 bucks, that was a pretty good haul. And then the guy that I bought all the Sega stuff from actually hit me up and said he had his Game Boy Advance stuff. He was a tough negotiator this time around. He wanted 50 and he was firm. I was more than comfortable paying that considering the Yoshi's Island is factory sealed. It's like in great condition too, other than this corner being a little bit crushed. Other than that, this thing is like flawless. But yeah, you got the unit, which does have a battery cover, carrying case, some random cable accessories. And then a couple more box games, Zapper, which is torn in the corner, and Donkey Kong, which is a little beat up, but still collection worthy. I always keep boxes. I know I've said it before, but I'm gonna say it again. Anytime I find box stuff, I always keep the boxes. I actually found some more stuff too, but this stuff I'm about to show you, I didn't get on camera. Um, I traded for some of this stuff and I found some of this stuff at garage sales. So these I traded for. I didn't have this in the collection, I needed this. I have the big box 25th anniversary edition, but I didn't have just the standard game. So I was happy to pick that up. So we got a couple of Pokemon games. I know these need new batteries. I ordered new batteries. I just got to put them in when they get here. Uh, Mario game, which rattles. So I'll have to take that apart and figure out what's going on there. These action replays actually carry a little bit of value. I don't know exactly how much they're going for, but I remember selling one of them on eBay a couple months ago for like 30 or 40 bucks. So... I'm hoping those are still worth as much, and yeah. We got a filler title for the NES collection. It's not worth very much. I don't know if it's a good game, but it was two bucks, so I picked that up. We got a working SP. I plugged this in and charged it up yesterday. Game Boy Advance with the battery cover. Got some gunk on it there I'll have to clean off. I like, I like when you find battery covers because there's a lot of times you find them and they're missing the battery covers. Or the battery cover will just be taped on. A couple more games here. Pokemon Stadium, big sticker on the side. That should clean off pretty nice. And then a torn copy of Pokemon Puzzle League. I don't know if I have this in the collection or not. I can't remember. But it's ripped, so that's not collection worthy to me. And yeah, that's stuff I didn't get on camera, unfortunately. But it is some pretty good stuff. Easy flips on eBay. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And on to the next.